Buddy, it's Alec with Team Yagi bringing you a brand new video. Today we have the new starter deck for set 9. Um, it's called Instincts Are Past. Uh, this is the starter deck or the beginner's deck. And then there's also the expert deck, um, which is the cell one. But I figured we'd open this one up. Uh, it's pretty cool. Um, it's just a lot of support for Universe 7, which is the new red-blue um, archetype in, this, uh, in the main set. But uh, I haven't really taken a look at this. I just know there are some pretty powerful cards in it. So I'm excited to see what exactly we get here. Um, so with every starter deck, you get a uh, set of rules and then a sort of play mat, like a paper mat that just has all the areas listed out. Um, I think the rules are the only difference is they added the invoker, which is the new mechanic, as well as successor. And those both came out with this set. But let me see if I can find the little tear there we go all right so this is a 51 card deck uh 50 battle 50 battle and extra cards and then one leader and the leader we get is sun goku um he has on his main side uh critical and then he also has the warriors of universe 7 trait which we haven't seen since i think tournament of power or maybe even the ultimate box it's been a while since we've seen that um, he awakens by, if you have a universe seven card in play with 25,000 power or more, and you have four or less cards or four or less life, I apologize. You can draw two and flip them over and then it becomes ultra instinct. Son Goku hero of universe seven. Um, he also has critical and warriors of U seven, obviously. Um, when this card attacks, draw one card, then choose up to one universe seven card in your battle area. And it gets 5,000 power for the duration of the turn. That's a really nice card. That's a really good leader. Holy cow. Um, and then it comes with, I believe, yeah, uh, four, four, five, uh, Star Deck exclusive cards that are foil. Um, and they are Friendly Rival Frieza. Uh, if your leader card is red, when you combo with this card, choose up to one red extra deck, extra card from your deck, place it in your drop area, then shuffle your deck. Uh, Ultra Instinct Son Goku, Universal Impulse, he has Energy Exhaust because he's a red blue. Um, and when you play this card, it gets 10,000 power, and you can't play non-universe 7 battle cards for the duration of the turn. Uh, and then his other auto is when your opponent plays a battle card, you may return this card to its owner's hand. Oh, you get two of those. You get one gold foil, one non. Um, we have Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta Steadfast Ally. Uh, is a 5-drop red-blue. He's a blocker. He has energy exhaust. And then his auto is when one of your red-blue multicolor battle cards is removed from your battle area by a skill. If this card isn't in play, you can play it from your hand. Um, and then this card um, is pretty good too. It's, it, I've been seeing it running a lot of Universe 7 builds. Um, it is, we're in this together. Uh, extra card. Uh, has energy exhaust because it's red-blue. Uh, it has an activate main of, if your leader card is a Universe 7 card, choose all your opponent's battle cards with 25,000 power or less and KO them. And then its other activate main is you can tap one red, and if your leader card is a Universe 7, you can add this card from the drop to your hand. So you can kind of just recycle it. So that's pretty cool. And then we have the non-foils of those three cards there. So those are the Star Deck exclusives. Um, we get one Sense of Bean, which is a really good card. Really nice uh, little inclusion there. I wish you got more than one, but one is one is, one is good, so I'll take it. Uh, we get four After Image Technique. Uh, two Tien Shinhan Spear Vanisher. Um, these are, this is from the new set. Um, he's pretty good. Activate main, you can choose two red and or blue extra cards in your hand, place them in the drop, place this card from hand, and then when you play this card, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards, ignore and barrier, and it gets a minus 20,000 for the turn. Um, Quill and Battle Mastery, he just lets you look up to, he just lets you look at the top seven for a We Are Universe 7 or Tournament Power Arena card, or any red, blue, multicolor extra card. So that's pretty good. Uh, Piccolo, Namaki, and Lineage. He's a blocker. If you have four more extra cards in your drop, reduce the energy cost by two. When he's KO, choose one red, blue, multicolor extra card in your drop and add it to your hand. Android 17, Spirit Vanisher. Uh, kind of the same thing as the TN, where you can choose two red and or blue extra cards in your hand and place them in the drop. Play this card from hand. And then when this card's KO'd or KO's an opponent's battle card, choose one red, blue, multicolor extra card in your drop or warp and add it to hand. Uh, you get your super combo, which is Beerus, uh, Divine Obliterator. You only get two. That's interesting. You only get two of them, um, but what he does is if you play, if you combo with him on your opponent's turn, you can untap one of your red bloom or, yep, one of your red bloom multicolor cards. Uh, we are Universe Seven. This card is really nice. Um, you can either choose one Universe Seven card from your drop area with no cost and add it to your hand, um, like no cost restriction, I should say, and then otherwise you can choose up to one Universe Seven card with energy cost of four less from your deck and add it to hand. So that's really nice. So you can pitch like a. 
I don't like a victory strike if you don't need it right away and then add it back later when you do need it. It's really nice. Oh, uh, the oh, here we go. The other two super combos are back one of universe seven Son Goku. This is from Tournament Power, so that's really nice to see. So you get another reprint. Um, when you come with this card, you lead a card to universe seven, and you have five or less life, just draw a card. I think it's plus ten. Oh, we get whoa, uh, four Master Roshi. I didn't even know that. Holy cow. Um, this is a really good card. Uh, you just negate the attack and play the card. So that's really nice to have four of. Holy cow. Um, focus mind Sun Gohan. He has barrier and then we activate main. Look at the top seven. Um, and then choose the one universe seven among them. Play that card by paying its energy cost and then you shuffle the deck. Uh, three, four multi-form Tian Shin Han. What he does, he just plays the other copies of himself, but he gets minus five for every, uh, Tien in play, or every multi-form in play. So, Inverted Energy, Android 18, when you combo with her, 7, just play the card. Universe 7 representatives, um, just look at the top 7 and choose one Universe 7 among them, add it to hand, and then, what? 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 We get one of these? A Hidden Power E Supreme Kai gives any card double strike when you battle with it, uh, or combo with it? That's crazy. This is a really good starter deck. I'd didn't even know half these cards were in there. Holy cow. Um, anyway, I would definitely recommend picking this up if you need some of these cards, especially, you know, uh, Universe 7 reps. That's a good card to have for any Universe 7 deck. And then, obviously, the Roshi, the Bean, and then East Supreme Kai. Like, holy cow, dude. This is a good starter deck. Um, but yeah, that's going to do it for this starter deck kind of review and opening. Um... Definitely, definitely do recommend picking this up, especially if you don't have, like I said, if you don't have some of these cards, like this card, it's kind of a staple in a Universe 7 deck, as well as, um, I feel Bean is also, uh, Bean is obviously a staple, but I feel like in this deck in particular, Universe 7, it's definitely something you're going to want four of, so I definitely recommend picking this up, uh, just so you can get your copies of Bean and your copies of Master Roshi. But that's going to do it for this video, um, like I said, just let me know what you guys thought in the comments below, um, let me know what you guys plan to do with this deck because i feel like some of the starter deck cards are good like the exclusives but i feel like some of this other stuff you kind of don't really need for the universe 7 build um just let me know um otherwise like comment and subscribe and stay tuned for more all right see ya